Welcome back. It is market day. It is real hot out there, so I'm going to start with some sunblock before anything, because if I forget this, I'm screwed. We were supposed to start this up last week, but there was an extreme heat warning that caused us to have to cancel the market. Caused them to have to cancel the market. So, today is officially the first day. It's still incredibly hot, but, like, bearable, you know? I've run farmer's market boots before, so I know exactly what I'm doing. There's not, like, too many. And plus, also, I was watching videos, reading articles, everything, um, like, preparing as much as I can. So I know exactly what this is going to be like, what I needed, all that stuff. But like I said, I was, I've run boots before, so I know what we're doing. But I've just, like, I still have this nervous factor because I've just never been the one in charge. It's never been my thing. I've always just been, like, a helper who just follows the instructions. This time I'm the one giving the instructions, so it's a little bit different, but again, I feel like quite prepared, so I'm less nervous than I thought I would be, and just more excited. I do want to be wearing some of the things that I made, just to kind of match the vibe and like show them off a little bit, so I put on a couple of the rings that I made, and I'm going to wear my little Benjamin pocket. Alright, there's a lot of things that I need to get packed into this car. I was meant to do that last night, but after work I just crashed immediately, so I knew I was going to have to get up a little bit early this morning be able to get that done i'm gonna try to set up in order of my like setup here except for backwards that way the things that i need first are gonna be at the top of this pile As I mentioned, it's incredibly hot outside, so I'm bringing this cooler with a bunch of water in it. I'm also going to bring this, which is just a couple of face towels that I, like, put water on and then froze. When these melt just a tiny bit, it'd be a nice, cool towel to wipe my face with. I'm also charging up my speaker real quick because a friend of mine who works very similar markets is actually saying that he finds when there's, like, background music playing at the booth, people will hang out a little bit longer, which makes a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to bring that for some background music vibes. Ooh, that's exactly why I wanted to do that last night, because I knew it was going to be already hot this morning by the time I got up. <laughs> but we're all packed, ready to go. Okay, I didn't vlog this setup because there was just honestly too much for me to think about for my first setup, but let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I've got a friend manning the booth. Let's walk around and look at the market for a minute. So we've got some cute little local produce stands, a whole bunch of food trucks. Admittedly, this market is mostly food vendors, but I'll take you over to the other side and show you the crafts in a minute. Ooh, lentil-based hummus. That sounds super good. Oh my god, it smells good over on this side. Good thing I'm not set up on this side. I'm set up like way on the other end of the market. I don't know if I could sit here and smell that delicious smell all day without buying a little something to eat. <laughs> and then on this side of the market, there's more like crafts, jewelry, things like that, clothing. Oh, look at that good looking booth. <laughs> My booth is fairly rudimentary. I did know this. I definitely need a better canopy so that I can display things better. I'd like people to be able to walk up into the canopy and have the bags like around the two sides and the back. And also put the jewelry, because like the jewelry is like a little bit off to the side and the back a little bit. I don't think it's getting as much attention as it deserves. So I, and I kind of knew that and prepared for that, but I just didn't want to spend a bunch of money. I wanted to take my first money that I made and put that back into canvases and also better displays for the table. So you can see right now, I just literally have everything laid on the table. I, I do think it would make the product just look a little bit more nicer and more official if I had some sort of tabletop displays. And that's when I realized I should probably move that jewelry rack to the front.
I say I got pretty lucky here today. I'm stuck between two vendors that both have misters on, so the heat is actually not so bad. And it's cooler than it was to today, too, which is very nice. We've made a handful of sales so far, which is really fun. My first one was particularly exciting. Most of them being through car. So luckily I got that square reader because I wasn't going to do that at first, but I don't like that it charges me. But honestly, the majority of the people are wanting to use cars. So I'm glad I did that. I am currently like halfway to the vendor fee and like three quarters away through the market. So fingers crossed that we at least make it to the vendor fee. <laughs> Hello again. It's like four days later. Last we spoke, we were still at the market. So let me catch you up from there. I did not end up making my vendor fee. I was $10 short, short of the vendor fee, which means I paid $10 to do manual labor and sit in a hundred degrees all day. So, <laughs> but I'm actually just joking. I didn't really expect to make all that much money. I did kind of expect to make at least the vendor fee back. So that surprised me a touch, but I was really close to making the vendor fee. But Honestly, this first market, I didn't expect things to fly off the shelves. Like, I wanted to get out there and get my first one under my belt so that I could learn and see. Like, I ended up changing the layout of my booth halfway through because just the original layout wasn't really highlighting each product the way I wanted it to. So we ended up changing that. And I'm sure I'll change it a hundred more times. I learned and I, and, and particularly what was nice was seeing how the under, other vendors do it like IRL. I've been watching tons of videos and all those things, but I don't know. There's some things I just didn't pick up on until I was there seeing it in real life. So it's like certain tabletop displays or just like, there's a lot of different things that I can do to really help push sales next time. But even more than like thinking about my own sales, it was really nice to just connect with some of the other like small businesses and creators and, and be able to speak to them about their experience and learn a lot from that. Also, the sales that I did make give me a really good indication of like what direction I should take my product in. So far, I've just kind of been, it's mostly been about me, right? Like I've been thinking about like, what do I like to make? What am I good at making? Blah, blah, blah. But as, well, some, one big thing that I'm kind of noticing is I need to think a little bit less about what I like to make, not like, I, I'm not going to disregard that completely, but I'm just saying another aspect that I should be considering as well is what do the people want? Which is like, it's not that I haven't considered that at all, but I just didn't really have much of an idea. Like, I do feel like each market, each area, each season of the year even maybe will change what kind of products the people are looking for. So that was really good to just have, again, it's just mostly I paid $10 to learn a lot. I would say what I learned was worth, excuse me, I'm not even going to get that out. I would say that what I learned was worth a lot more than $10. So I'm pretty pleased with how the experience went. I will be back next week. I'm supposed to do every other week, but because of like a scheduling issue, I think I mentioned that here, we had to cancel one week. So I went like the next week which was supposed to be an off week for me. So now I have two markets in a row and then I'll like kind of get to my regular every other week schedule. That's just what I started off myself off on. I know I can change that at any point. I would like to be successful at this market enough that I could be there every week. Um, but obviously I can't pay a vendor fee every single week if I'm not making enough money to cover that vendor fee every week. So, <sighs> I don't know. I'm still, honestly, I will be gathering my thoughts on this for quite a while. There's just a lot to learn and think about and research and everything like that. So if you have any tips, tricks, things you've learned, like what's, what's one thing that someone tell, told you about your market that just like has really stuck with you? I would really very much appreciate if you would share that down below. Hopefully it can stick with me too. Thanks for joining me in this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that little thumbs up down below. Subscribe while you're hanging out down there. I will see you in the next one. Bye.